This video is on command line tool. For anyone working with TCP IP networks, you need to know common command line tool in order to properly troubleshoot issues. First we have ping. The basic function of ping command is to test the connectivity between the two devices on a network. All the command is designed to do is determine whether two computers can see each other and notify you of how long the round trip takes to complete. Then we have if config, IP config, and IP, which enables you to view and renew TCP IP configuration. The command shows basic information such as the name of the local network interface, IP address, subnet mask, and the default gateway, but you can get much more if you request all. And then we have nslookup dig. It performs manual DNS lookup. nslookup can be used on Windows, Unix, Mac OS, and Linux system. The nslookup utility is used to troubleshoot DNS related problems. Using nslookup, you can, for example, run manual name resolution queries against DNS servers, get information about your system's DNS configuration, or specify what kind of DNS records should be resolved. Next, we have trace route and trace cert. It tracks the path a packet takes as it travels across the network. Tracer is used on Windows system, TraceRoute is used on Unix, Linux, and macOS system, and TraceRoute utility does exactly what its name implies. It traces the route between two hosts. It does this by using ICMP echo packets to report information at every step in the journey. This information can help identify where the network bottlenecks or breakdowns might be. Then we have ARP. ARP enables you to view and work with IP address to MAC address resolution cache. ARP or Address Resolution Protocol is used to resolve IP address to MAC addresses. This is significant because on a network, devices find each other using IP address, but communication between devices require MAC address. Then we have NetStat, which enables you to view the current TCP IP connections on a system. NetStat command displays protocol statistics and the current TCP IP connections on a local system. Used without any switches, the NetStat command shows the active connection for all outbound TCP IP connections. Then we have hostname, which displays all the name assigned to a host. You basically use hostname command to provide that information. It reports back the character string that refers to the name of the host the command was entered on. Then we have route, which enables you to view and configure the routes in the routing table. With the route command, you display and modify routing table on your Windows and Linux systems. Then we have telnet, which allows you to remote access to a host. It is not secure. It is usually discouraged in favor of a newer, more secure option like the secure shell. Then we have TCP dump, which acts as a Linux-based packet analyzer. The command is used on Linux Unix system to print the contents of the network packets. It can read packets from a network interface card or from a previously created saved packet file and write packets to either standard output or a file. And then we have nmap. This utility is available for free download. nmap is simply a network scanner. It is used to discover hosts and services on a computer network by sending packets and analyzing the responses. Utility can be used to scan a range of IP addresses or just a single IP address. And we also have the basic network platform commands. The show interfaces command displays statistics for all interfaces configured on the router or access server. Show IP route displays the routing table. Show config displays the current system configuration.